Hello everyone and welcome to Geek Must Have. This is a tool time video with the tools coming from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has 20% off coupons and when they do I usually go out and buy a single large item and in this particular video I wanted to get a toolbox. Now the toolbox I had been using was a standard metal tool box that's in the background right there with a bunch of drawers on it, but it's far too heavy to be carting around. It doesn't have the tools that are sitting in these plastic crates right here. So I had tools and crates, and I had tools and boxes, and whenever I went to go someplace, I threw everything in the Jeep and went. So I decided to get myself a toolbox that I'm going to populate with tools from the Tool Time videos that I record here. Uh, there's a couple things in the box already which I already had. Uh, I'll be reviewing the contents, but uh, we'll be looking at some of the tools that I purchased from Harbor Freight. This is the pile of tools from Harbor Freight with the idea that I was going to include some of these in the toolbox. But I think I may have been a little crazy when I went out and got these. I think some of these are probably destined to go back. One of the items I always find really necessary to have for a uh, toolbox is a measuring tape. When Harbor Freight has their 20% off coupons, they also have coupon for a free something. It's, sometimes it's a flashlight, it's a magnetic parts holder, or in this case, this tape measure. So this tape measure, while it was free, it's freaking huge. I don't know when I'm ever going to need a 25 foot tape measure that measures just in inches for a small electronics toolkit. Yeah, it's got a nice rubber grip and everything, but I will uh, probably just toss this in one of my other toolboxes. They did have this small little snap gate 10 inch carabiner tape measure, which was $1. It is metal and the scale on it is both inches and millimeters. I do a lot of my measurements in millimeters now. I just find it a lot easier to do work using uh, millimeters over inches. But here I've been looking for a ruler that's a combination ruler that's small that I could be using and I looked in Menards and a bunch of other places and they were nine and twelve dollars a piece. So here is a locking carabiner because everything should have a carabiner. Snap guide measuring device. This is definitely worth a dollar. So the next item is this Pittsburgh. That's uh, one of the brand names for Harbor Freights. Two-piece midget locking plier set. Midget. There's probably somebody in human resources that just fell off their chair because we used the word midget instead of small person. I need to conserve as much space as possible because that toolbox isn't as big as it looks. Having a set of gripping pliers that I can use in addition to the pliers that come in the other kits would be useful. Let's open these up. These are definitely keepers, so they will be going in the box. These were $5 for the pair. You know, some people may say they're as cute as all get-go. And I get a lot of people who ask me about, uh, you know, the quality of Harbor Freight products. And little things like this, they're put together fairly well. <laughs> they're not meant to be used by tradespeople. Like, this is what I do with my job all the time is use this wrench. You'd go out and buy yourself a quality wrench. But for somebody who needs a casual set of tools, Harbor Freight offers tools at a really good price that are fair to media quality. I don't know that I would buy a table saw there, or I don't know if I would buy any type of major power tool or a generator or something, but I do buy a lot of little tools and doodads that I need to work on some of my some of the projects I have. I come with these little rubber things on them. I guess we should try this out and make certain it does work. So let's open it up a little bit. Find some fragile printed circuit board. Nah. Let's skip the printed circuit board. Let's go to a whiteboard marker instead. They 
are adjustable. Probably could use a dose of oil. Yeah. They lock. They lock tight. And then they unlock. So there's this gripping pair that has a set of jaws right there. And when they're opened up all the way, close it. The jaws on it are can hold something approximately 25, no, let's be fair, 20 millimeters. These won't take up a whole lot of space. There's also these pointed ones. And uh, I don't know how far the jaws open up on them, but these are definitely keepers. The next item is a uh, set of Pittsburgh wire strippers with pressure adjustment. This is a $6 item. Uh, I currently in the lab use one of these, which is very similar in shape and size, but uh, this is a professional manufacturer. This was a uh, AliExpress one. I don't remember what this one cost, but this one works very well and it's very solid. It just has a very good feel to it. Now, I'm wondering what a $6 one looks like. And this is a candidate to be returned, so I'm going to open the package carefully. Well, pretty solid. Let's get some wire and try it out. I prefer these for years. I used to use diagonal cutters. These little puppies here. And I got quite good at stripping insulation off of wire and the likes, but as I get in the projects that are smaller, I'm not as gentle as I used to be, and my feeling isn't what it used to be. So a set of wire strippers might be useful. So let's try this out. Yeah, it cut the wire. It didn't, it didn't strip the wire off. Yeah, I'm going to have a pile of these little cutoffs here. Wind it all the way back. Yeah. And now I'll wind it forward about halfway. Yeah. No matter what I do, this is not a wire stripper, this is a wire cutter. This is a reject. I guess for six bucks you can't expect a lot. This will be going back today. The next item is a set of uh, Central Forge, I don't know if that's one of the brand names, uh, needle files uh, with poly handles. Yeah, these are distributed by Harbor Freight. Always wear ant ANSI approved safety goggles. Well, I like these because these can be rolled up and a ranger band put over them to hold them in place so they don't take up a lot of space. But I find myself a lot of time needing to just file down the edge of something. A lot of the project boxes and cutouts I do uh, aren't real precise so my adjustment are files like this. And these are the surface on them. It isn't necessarily very abrasive, but there is a set of 12 of these. Let's see, there's some flat ones, there's a pointed one, a couple more pointed ones, a couple more pointed ones, a triangular one, and a round one. So that's a pretty good set of files. I guess I won't really know how they work until I start to use them. They're probably very good for plastic and wood and moderately good for metal. Those were $4. So for $4 I got a set of files. Ah, let's file something. And the poor whiteboard markers are taking an abuse today. Yeah. There you go. So these are definitely a keeper and put a ranger band over these to hold them in place. 
For those of you who don't know what a Ranger band is, it's a uh, bicycle inner tube cut into little pieces and they make great little heavy duty rubber bands to hold things together. That's a keeper. The next item is this Pittsburgh 26 piece ratcheting screwdriver set. I saw it and I think what attracted me to it is that it had this nice little canvas case with it and it had long bits it had Torex bits, it had some drivers. I don't know why I bought this, because I have 70 other sets of ratcheting screwdriver sets. I was, I was possessed, that's what it was. I was possessed to buy this. This item was $10. Now, while it's not a lot of money, it was a $10 item. I already had one of these from Menards. I've had a bunch of these. I wished I had bought more when they were available. Uh, if I remember right, they were $8 a piece. And they're these really nicely packaged plastic kits. And this one has a ratcheting. A whole set of bits, including Torex bits. And a set of uh, sockets. That slips on there slips on here and now you have a ratcheting set of sockets. They go all the way down to five millimeters. So this is a metric one and it comes with all oh, 46 pieces to it and it's nicely packaged. It, it is a little bulky in the sense that it takes up a bit more space than it probably needs to but it's all packaged together and for seven dollars you can't go wrong. There's a companion to this that Menards sold. And again, I wished I had bought more. And that is this nine piece mini tool set. So the mini tool set has a pair of diagonal cutters, a pair of needle nose, a tweezer, and then a set of screwdrivers. And then I just threw a set of jeweler's screwdrivers in there on top of it and this case seals pretty good the tweezers like to go AWOL out of the box but those two are items that are inside of the toolbox right now this is an 18 piece portable plastic parts Storage case from Storehouse. I don't know why I bought this because I must have 400 plastic storage cases and this is a big one in the sense of how much space it would take inside of my tool kit, my uh, toolbox. I got a note from somebody who said to go to my local dollar store and they will have dollar versions of smaller ones of these with four or five inside of them. That was three dollars. But, this is definitely going back. Not that it's bad, it's just a little too big. The next item is a Pittsburgh telescoping magnetic pickup tool with a 15 pound capacity. I use a number of these little ones that I've gotten from Menards for, I think they're three bucks a piece. Uh, they're nice, they're small, they work very well. Uh, and as you can see, next to the honking one that's from Harbor Freight. I don't know that this one is destined for the toolbox. I think I may just move one of the ones that I have in the lab here to there. And uh, that's a $5 item. And it says it picks up 15 pounds. And it does have a really nice grip on it. And it is heavy duty. I mean, this is industrial next to this one here. So the little one will go in the tool kit, and this will become my new pickup tool for the lab. It's uh, The telescoping antenna has a bit of flex to it. Whether it'll pick up 15 pounds or not is questionable. We'll do some testing on it and see how it works. This will be a keeper, but a keeper for the lab. The next item I needed is a saw. And I needed a saw that would be relatively small, but something that I could use to cut out plastic or cut printed circuit boards. 
and I saw this one and it's a mini hacksaw and it was five dollars I just think it's too big it'll cut just about anything but it doesn't disassemble this is all one piece right here so this whole thing is one piece and it's just too big it's actually bigger than the width of the case so I'll be looking for another small little saw that I can use this is going back an automatic center punch brass handle these are very good for getting a starter hole or a starter point uh, put into a piece of metal or plastic to drill a hole and this is four dollars this will probably go into the kit because I will be adding a set of quarter inch hex drill bits to use with my uh, little hand drill this Black & Decker gyro I'll have a set of drill bits for this that are quarter inch hex and they'll go in there and they'll drill holes and this would be the thing that I would use to set the hole set the part for the hole and the way it works is you just press it and you'll hear it pop and it just left a divot in my mat I doubt that's self-healing so yes this is a keeper it's small enough to go in the, the box it does come apart in case you know you need to take it apart I guess the next item is a set of six inch utility shears I need a pair of scissors that are fairly industrial because the things I'm cutting off in are plastic or printed circuit boards uh, it's not like I'm cutting paper and uh, the bigger the handle is the easier it is usually to be able to cut things this is a two dollar item it says these are highly precise they're small enough that they wouldn't take up much room let's open them up and see whether they're keepers I thought they were made out of plastic they're not they're made out of metal they're made out of metal I think it's forged I can't tell for sure it has a little protector thing on the front so you don't you know hurt yourself I like them with the big handles they just make them easier to handle I don't know how sh how long these will stay sharp they're pretty sharp right now these are keepers we'll put these in the box so I have a pair of scissors in the box I'll figure out a better way to cap the tip on these uh, we'll see how long they last after I cut a printed a couple printed circuit boards or a cut I won't cut metal with these that's what I want the hacksaw for if I can find a small hacksaw and the last item which every time I go to Harbor Freight and every time I go to Menards I bear it by a pair of workman's gloves because I just hate it when I don't have a pair of gloves nearby when I'm working on something now these are a medium they fit me very very nice I almost prefer these hardy ones over the uh, ones from Menards they have a, a better feel to them and they're a little more tactile and they're a little bit easier to use and uh, they fit really nice not often I need these to work on computer circuits or whatever but sometimes when I'm uh, working on a bigger piece of equipment having a pair of gloves is handy and these will go in the toolbox so the toolbox will get from Harbor Freight the following items tape measure that does both inches and millimeters a pair of gloves and a pair of files 